To say that I'm waiting on Marvel Rivals with great anticipation would be an understatement. I cannot wait for this game. You know, it's got everything I want. Six players, you know, player versus player action. I like putting up my skills against someone else. It's got that Overwatch feel. And I don't mean what Overwatch has become. I mean what Overwatch once was. Back in the day when I first bought my PlayStation 4, the first game that I got for it was Overwatch. And I loved it. I played the shit out of Tracer. I played the shit out of D.Va. I played the shit out of Mercy, Farah. God damn it, I had a lot of fun. Me, the Wonk, Shinigami, and others. Well, Marvel Rivals. 33 characters. Characters you know and are familiar with through the movies, through the comics, through the cartoons, are going to be all available to you. And today, folks, today they have announced, that's right, count them, five new playable characters going to be in the game, and we're going to take a look at them right meow. And here we go, Marvel Rivals launch trailer, which I watched a little earlier. We're not going to watch it here in case, you know, the YouTube gods decide to strike me down. But, uh, you know, everyone can go watch it for themselves. But we will talk about the releases, who's coming, all that good stuff. Marvel Rivals reveals the five remaining playable characters set to release on December 6th. As I said, with a roster of 33 characters at launch and the final five, the final countdown has just been revealed. Uh, with just a few days left to go until the release of Marvel Rivals. NetEase Games, who are quickly becoming my new favorite just because their game looks incredible, has shared the official launch trailer for the upcoming game. The launch trailer does, doesn't just serve as hype for a video game, but also teases five remaining playable characters at the launch date. NetEase Games previously stated that Marvel Rivals will release with the 33 playable characters by the end of Season 0. It's month-long uh, season. To date, only 28 of these characters have been uh, spotted. In the new trailer below, you will get the first glimpse of the five remaining characters. And here they are. We're, we're going to list them here. Then this one shocked me, but I'm glad it's here because my buddy Warren Brown, downtown Warren Brown of Lunchbox Kongs, he's going to be trying to main this character. And of course, we're talking about Squirrel Girl. That's right. Squirrel Girl has made it into Marvel Rivals. She is going to be a beast. My buddy Warren is going to play her. And uh, we're, we're going to take names, man. That's it. I'm going to be, of course, maining Magic. And my off main will be Spider-Man. We also get Black Widow. Now, I'm going to try out Black Widow. She's probably going to be a running gun character. Can't wait. Maybe like a version. I would say like Black Widow might be like... Widowmaker from Overwatch. You know, she's probably going to have ways to sneak around. She's probably going to have some sort of sniper rifle, maybe be able to take you out from a distance. I don't know, but uh, looking forward to seeing this. Cloak and Dagger. <clears throat> now, this is interesting because they're not two separate characters in this game. They are one character, as I understand it, and you'll be able to switch between the two. I have no idea how that's going to work, but it sounds intriguing as hell. Iron Fist. That's right. Iron Fist has also made it to the game. So I suspect Iron Fist, even though he's probably a lot smaller in size, is going to be a lot like Doom Fist from Overwatch. And that's just my guess. And then finally, and of course, the release that everyone's been waiting for, we all thought he would be in a DLC package. We did not expect him. At least I did not expect him on launch just because you can milk him for so much money. And that is Wolverine. Of course, with the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm surprised that we have not seen Deadpool yet either, but Wolverine indeed is in the game. NetEase plans to fully unveil each of these characters each day leading up to the launch. They join a roster community comprised of 28 heroes and villains from all across the Marvel Universe. Names including Black Panther, Captain America, Iron Man, Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Spider-Man, Star-Lord, and so many more. Additionally, the Marvel Rivals and Marvel Games team will be conducting a special community. Ask me anything. That's right. Ask me anything. Just don't ask me late to dinner. For fans on December 4th at 7 p.m. Uh, at Pacific Standard Time on the game's official Discord. You want to have some discourse? Let's go on Discord. 
the player community will be able to ask questions, meet the team, and get all the latest updates ahead of the game's release. I, I doubt I'll be taking part in that. I, I rarely use Discord, but I am, you know, anxiously awaiting this. The official launch trailer song, Marvel's Till It Ends, is performed by renowned rock vocalist Christy uh, Constanza. I'm not sure if I can say that. Best known for the front woman of the band Against the Current. She has also performed other iconic gaming anthems like Legends Will Never Die and Phoenix. You'll be able to listen to the entire Marvel Rival soundtrack titled Galactic Tunes on streaming platforms starting December 6th with a limited vinyl now available for pre-order on Mutant. What the hell is Mutant? Uh, in Marvel Rivals, players can look forward to choosing heroes split between three distinct roles based on unique powers. We had the Vanguard, Duelist, and Strategist. So basically, tank, DPS, and healing. They'll be able to free to pick their preferred role and hero, teaming up with allies to create a versatile and dynamic lineup, lineup for battle. But that's not all. No, no, sir. That's not all. As they'll be able to reach a whole new level of team play, collaboration with team up abilities. That's right. These guys can do combos together, unleashing joint superpowers with their allies, tearing down the battlefield to win exciting fights. Marvel Rivals is in development by a NetEase team composed of global talent that share a profound love for the Marvel Universe and characters who previously worked on the hit shooter franchise played by millions of players worldwide. It is set to launch at uh, six, uh, December 6th at uh, 000 UTC time, whatever the fuck that means. The game will be free to play with all heroes unlocked at launch and beyond. Preloading on Steam and PC will begin on December 4th. That is good to know because I will definitely preload that game December 4th. So that, when it goes live, we don't have to piss around for an hour and wait for it to download and go through all the bugs and problems. We will try and have that all worked out on launch day because we will go live with this game right here. I will be playing Magic first thing. First match I have, I'm playing Magic, okay? And then we'll start experimenting with the other characters, but we're going, we're, we're doing a deep dive on the six. It's going to be probably an all-day event. You know, I'm going to be inviting all my comic book friends to come in and join me if they have the game. And, of course, you can get the game pretty much on any system. So there is no reason why you can't play unless you don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox or a PC, then I can see why you can't play. But if you have one of those three, well, congratulations. You're in, you're in like Flynn, get a hold of me because I am putting together a team. I got lunchbox Warren, a squirrel girl. I got myself as magic. Now I don't want to speak for, for anyone else, but I think I could probably pull Shinigami into this. I'm going to pull Christian into this. I don't know about Gundam or a couple of the others there that I that I game with, but I will see what I can do. Maybe we can get Max DeVille to give it a try. Hey, man, I'm Phil Leon, man. I don't play no Marvel Rivals, man. You know, DC Rivals, maybe, man. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be great. PC, Xbox, X, and S, and of course, the PlayStation 5. Guys, who are you looking forward to playing in Marvel Rivals? Did you see the launch trailer? Did you see Wolverine? And I don't like the way he looks here, by the way, but I am i know they'll put in his classic costumes and all that stuff. They'll have to. You want to milk money off of this, right? Like, like this looks like teenage Wolverine from like X-Men Evolution or something. I don't know what the hell it is, but Magic looks great. Storm looks great. Magneto looks great. Psylocke does not look like Psylocke to me, but hopefully we'll get the sexy Jim Lee costume, you know, down the road, whatever it's going to be, right? But I'm in for this game. I'm in like Flynn. I hope you are too. And stay tuned because I will be covering Marvel Rivals off and on. Not only lead up to the launch, but during launch and after launch. Because there's going to be so much more coming down the road. This game is going to explode. It's going to explode all over your face. What? With that being said, guys, stay tuned for a word from our sponsor. And just who is the sponsor of today's video? Well, it's me, Austin. It's been me all along. And guys, I just want to quickly point out that I, too, am a comic book creator. I just don't speak it. I, I produce it, right? It's like put your money where your mouth is. We do that each and every time we have a release. I've been doing this now for a decade. We're published. We're in comic book shops. And we're on eBay. So if you ever want to check out Niobe and you haven't yet, 
One of the best ways to do that is to come by our eBay store. Take a little scroll through here. If you type in Niobe Comics, you'll find it. Of course, link will be in the description of the video. I have all kinds of great back issues and hard to find variants here from artists that you know and love like Jamie Tyndall, Elsie Frita, Steph Wilson, Paul Green, John Stinsman of Evangeline fame, Keith Garvey, and so many more guys. If you're missing out on some Niobe back issues, if you're looking for that hard to find variant, chances are you're going to find the best deal right here on eBay and chances are you're going to find that deal directly through me. And as always, if you do order a book from me, I'll throw in a little uh, little extra goodies in there, a little, little tchotchke package of stickers and bookmarks and cards. Oh, my. You'll have all that. Plus, you can have your book signed or unsigned. That is up to you. And keep an eye on this page because I do update it fairly, fairly frequently with new items all the time. As something sells, I will put it back up. So, guys, today's sponsor... Niobe Comics, the eBay store. Come check it out.